Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make an online store from scratch. I'm going to condense the time frame as much as possible to help you build an e-commerce site in just 13 minutes. In the end of the video, I'm also going to talk about a free resource I've prepared for you, which is going to be really helpful on your e-commerce journey, so make sure to stick around for that. And if you are a complete beginner, just stick with me. This is going to be a very easy online store setup tutorial. I'll take you step by step through the process. To set up our online store, we will use Shopify. If you haven't signed up for Shopify yet, you'll find the best current deal linked in the description. It will take you to a three day free trial and then $1 for the first three months. So go on ahead, create your account and follow the prompts to open your Shopify dashboard. Step number two, choose a theme for your store. In this tutorial, we'll be using the theme Dawn. So go to online store here on the left hand menu Scroll down, find Dawn, and click Add. Step number three, let's get your brand across. We're going to right click on Customize so you can access the theme editor on a new tab. From here, you can now change the colors, fonts, and layout of your store. The first thing we're gonna add is a logo. Click on the header section, click on select images and upload your logo file. If you haven't created a logo yet, I highly recommend using Canva to easily create one. I'm going to leave a link to Canva down in the description. Then add a nice banner image, give your store a title, and here you're going to want to add a strong sentence that describes your brand in a confident and brilliant way. If you're struggling with copywriting, have a look at what big brands are doing to understand what really works and sells. You could also use ChatGPT to help you out with that. Now go back to your Shopify dashboard tab and let's add some products to the store. If you're syncing with a drop shipping supplier like Printful or Printify, your products can be automatically added from their platform. Otherwise, go to products, click on add product and fill out all your product details. Add your title, description, here you'll see an auto write button which generates your descriptions for you. That makes everything even easier. Maybe just give it a test if you need some ideas. Then add images, pricing, and your search engine listing information. I made a whole video on how to add products to Shopify, so go ahead and check that out to make sure you've covered everything you need to cover. And once you're done, have a look that your product statuses are all set to active. Once you've created a few products, you'll need to create collections. This will help you keep the store organized and enable a user-friendly browsing flow for your customers. A few collection examples for clothing brands might be tops, bottoms, or shoe collections. Head to Collections on the side menu and click on Create Collection. Likewise, set your title, description, search engine listing, and then add all the relevant products into the collection. Once you've added your products, you can choose to reorder them right here. This will affect which products are shown first on your storefront. I recommend adding what you think will sell the most first or possibly also arranging this manually based on product aesthetic. Now, very, very important, add a collection image this is what customers will click on to see the next products, so choose something attractive that represents your entire collection. You're going to understand this in a minute when we head to the store and display the collections. If you need some extra guidance with setting up collections, I've also made a full video going through each of these steps. You'll also find a link to that video in the description. When you're done, click save, and once you have all your collections ready, head back over to the theme tab and now we're going to display them in your storefront. If the products are not already featured here automatically, click on Add Section and select Featured Collection. Click right here and add the collection featuring your main products. Type in a title, 
and then scroll down to create the next website section. Here you could add something like an image with text to showcase your brand and talk about its benefits. Then in the next section, you could highlight your collection covers by clicking on collection list and displaying various collection covers. So when your website visitors click on this cover, they are going to open another page with all the products within that collection. And by the way, this is just an example and a demonstration on how to create different sections. There are infinite ways on how to set up your store layouts and the best one for you will depend on what industry you're in and what you're selling. A few key things that you'll want to include in the homepage will be high quality images, clear and concise descriptions that communicate the benefits of your products in an exciting way, possibly customer reviews or ratings to help build trust with potential buyers, perhaps a banner or a slideshow highlighting any current promotions or new product launches, and other additions that can help catch the attention of visitors and encourage them to explore your store further. You'll definitely want to include a section that highlights your brand story and mission as this can really help you stand out from competition and build a connection with your visitors. And ideally, you'll also want to include various call to action buttons that will entice users to click on something and take some form of action. An example to this could be a button that leads to a product page or to sign up for a discount. Just remember that your store layout and design should be tailored to your specific business and target audience. So take the time to test out different layouts and to find what works best for your business. Again, have a look at what competitors are doing and try to get an idea of what works well. Just know that aesthetics plays a massive role in sales. Your store needs to look incredible. There's just too much competition out there for a mediocre looking store, so do spend some extra time developing a beautiful brand that stands out and is conveyed in a clean and attractive way in your store. I've prepared a super valuable free resource to help you out with that part. Just stick till the end, I'll be telling you more about that in a bit. Now let's view your product pages. Click on one of your products. Now, if you've already added your product titles and descriptions, you should be able to see that right here automatically. What I would like to show you though, is that if you scroll down here, you'll see that Dawn theme has a product recommendation section integrated. So if you're using a different theme and this is not showing automatically, I highly recommend that you add the section as this can help increase your sales. Just go to the left menu and add a block named related products. So hit save. And let's go back to the Shopify dashboard tab. Click on navigation and click on main menu. Click on add menu item and here add the pages you want to link in your menu. You can also set up sub menu categories if you have a lot of collections you'd like to link to, which will likely be the case for most clothing stores. For example, you can set up a men's category and then add subcategories like tops, bottoms, and shoes, etc. In your main menu, you might also want to include a new arrival section depending on what you're selling. Then hit save and let's go back and edit your footer menu. Here you'll want to add important things like privacy policy and shipping and returns pages. To create those pages, go to this section right here, click on add page, and fill out your details. Shipping and returns is going to be a very, very important addition to your store. Most people are going to wonder about that right away when they want to buy something. So make sure that you set this up very nicely. And if you click on view page, you'll be able to customize its look in the theme editor. Okay, so now go back to your theme editors tab, scroll all the way down, and here's where you'll add the footer menu in your footer section. Then you'll scroll up and find the main menu settings by clicking on header. It should already be added automatically, so if you've added those new links, they should show up right here. Hit save and let's go back to the Shopify dashboard. Now we're going to click on settings, head over to markets, and select the countries that you'll be selling to. 
Assuming you're drop shipping with a company like Printful or Printify, you can choose to sync your shipping rates automatically. If not, you can also add the shipping prices right here by grouping products into different profiles and selecting their markets. Now head over to brand and add your logo and colors right here. Scroll all the way down and you'll also want to add your social media links, which you can also choose to make visible on your storefront and your emails. Now go to checkout. And here's a setting I highly recommend you pay attention to. It's this one right here. Require the customer to log in to their account before checkout. I recommend you leave this unchecked just because that creates extra hassle and friction to the checkout process. Unless you have a really good reason to require a login, like perhaps you're already working with an existing returning customer base, this will probably do more harm than good. If you just leave it unchecked, customers will still have the option to sign up if they want to create an account, but they'll also be able to check out as guests, which makes everything faster and easier for first time customers. Also make sure to have a look at those other settings, though I believe most of those are by default set to the ideal choice. Then you'll want to head over to the payment settings. If your business is registered, you can use ShopPay. Otherwise, there are tons of other good providers you can go with. I recommend using Stripe. That's what I use for my business. It's easy to set up and has never caused me any issues. You can also then add additional payment methods like PayPal, which is a very good idea. When all of that is ready, head over to Domains. And if you haven't already, now is the time to purchase a domain. If you want to keep this as easy as possible without any configurations, you can just buy a domain right here inside Shopify for $15 per year, which is all right. When that's ready, head back to your online store settings and make sure that your website is not password protected and you're ready to start selling. Now is the time I recommend you start thinking of different marketing strategies to bring visitors to your store. You'll be able to track those in the analytics section. And a very important thing that goes into getting your first sale is having a great offer. To help you succeed, I'm going to leave a video on how to create the discount codes down in the description that will be very valuable to anyone who's just about to go live with their store and is ready to get their first sale in. So go ahead and check that out. And before you go, I also want to quickly let you know that in the description below, you can find a free resource pack I've designed to help you further into this journey. It's a digital magazine bundle featuring a marketing guide and a branding guide. I've chosen some of the coolest and most successful Shopify stores that I've come across and I've broken them down into segments of what they're doing right so you can follow their footsteps to create your own success story. It's loaded with top knowledge marketing tips and tons of inspiring ideas for your store. In the branding guide, you'll find pretty much everything you need to know to create a thriving brand from scratch. You'll find tons of tips and definitions on how to create a solid brand identity, basics on brand voice, visuals, intelligent color use for sales, and other top knowledge insider stuff. You can find both of those resources in a free bundle pack in the description. And if you haven't signed up for Shopify yet, I'm also going to leave a link down below taking you to the best current deal. Thank you so much for sticking around this far. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. It'll make my day. All right, I'll see you in the next video.